Valentine's Day is almost here, and we have some great reads that you will fall in love with. Here to help us is Julia Quinn, the best-selling author behind the Bridgerton series. The first book inspired season one of the wildly popular Netflix show, which was recently renewed for a second season, which so many, including myself, are excited about. <laughs> Julia, good morning. Good morning. It's so nice to talk to you. And we're going to get to your book recommendations in a second. But I, I have to congratulate you on Bridgerton getting picked up for season two. And I, I'm just so curious. Is it going to be, what, from what you can tell us, similar to the way the books are set up where we could get introduced more in detail to a new, uh, another character? Yeah. So just like season one focused primarily on Daphne and her love story, season two will focus on Anthony and his love story, which is plays out in the second book in the series called The Viscount Who Loved Me. Oh, my gosh. Can't wait. All right. I guess in the meantime, we'll have to talk about something else. <laughs> Let's start with a category you're very familiar with. Historical romance. What's your pick for us here? Okay, so not surprisingly, I get asked all the time now, where do I start with historical romance? And there are so many good authors, but I'm recommending Tessa Dare. Mm. And this is her most recent book. It's called The Wallflower Wager. And I love Tessa's writing. It is funny. It is smart. It is full of heart. And this one is especially fun. The heroine, Lady Penelope Campion, is somebody who, if she lived today, would probably run an animal rescue. Hmm. And But because she lives in the early 19th century, instead, she just brings all these animals into her house and gives them all the care and affection that her family never really gave her. Hmm. And of course, chaos ensues, and you've got this grumpy hero, and the meat cute is fabulous. Her <laughs> rescue parrot flies into his house, and um, I love it's just it. great. And then romance yeah, happens. I, yeah. <laughs> romance happens, as it as it does. And I just think anybody who likes Bridgerton will really like Tessa's books. Oh, cool. Now, now, Julia, I did not know that this was a thing, but there are sports-themed romances, and, and, and you've got one that's kind of like following the heels of the, the Super Bowl called Snapped. Yes. So sports romance is actually a really big thing. And I enjoy it as much as anybody else. And a few years ago, I heard about Alexa Martin. And I thought, now this is an author who's got to know what she's talking about. Her husband actually played in the NFL for eight years. And I believe, here we got the book, I believe he actually won the Super Bowl twice. And so I've read all her books. And they are so awesome. The narration is just snarky and funny, and you want to be friends with these women. Um, but I think Snapped takes things to a new level. It, um, you know, the romance is still hot and fun, but there's this underlying social commentary which really pulls you in, you know, about Black Lives Matter, about the way the NFL treats its uh, retired athletes. And um, in the case of the heroine, Elliot, about what it's like as a, a biracial individual to be straddling two worlds and not necessarily feeling like you ever fit in. And I just, I, I snapped this one up. Okay. <laughs> what, about, what about a book that's a, a different type of uh, friendship, you know, more, more about a friendship than a hot romance? Yeah, so for that one, I am recommending Miss Benson's Beetle by Rachel Joyce. And, you know, I picked this one up kind of by accident, and I'm so glad I did. It is this really kind of unlikely story. The heroine is Marjorie Benson, and I got to be honest with you, she makes me think of Eleanor Rigby from the Beatles song. <laughs> she is somebody who is so lonely and unfulfilled and doesn't even realize it. And it takes place in post-war Britain. She's in her late 40s. And somebody plays a cruel prank on her, and it finally spurs her to pursue her lifelong passion, which is the search for this probably mythical golden beetle of New Caledonia in the South Seas. Um, but she needs an assistant, and she ends up hiring Enid Pretty, who has her own reasons for wanting to get out of England. And these two women form, after many, many false starts, the most unlikely friendship. And what I love about it is that each of these women, through their friendship, finds their own kind of strength and worth in a society that really has already written them off as inconsequential. Ju and it's Julia, this 
All your books sound wonderful. We just ran out of time, so I we're going to put the rest on our website. But <laughs> thank you so much for uh, all your picks Thanks. for Valentine's Day. For more information, you can head to today.com slash shop for these titles and a few more bonus picks as well. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.